two on public flirts with six to one goes back to 13 to two walking towards the starter they're off they've got 13 to jump and they run towards the first of those the favorite jpr1 in the black and yellow uh, lined up with a two or three length advantage and that is what he'll have as he comes to the first uh, which he's big and bold over they all clear it on public touchdown in second place Petit Tonnerre won the best turned out award. Green and yellow hoops is showing in third position. This is fence number two. And then Mighty Tom, dark jacket uh, with a white cap is the back marker of the quartet as they run uh, on towards three and four. Be more than 10 lengths first to last here. And it is JPR1 with about a two length advantage as he moves on towards fence number three. On public, a pink cap running in second place. Uh, the chasing trio just getting a little bit closer to the leader as they take three. Petit Tonnerre was over it in third place. And then Mighty Tom is the back marker of the quartet. And they jump number four. So one circuit to go in this SSS Super Alloys Novices Chase. Still about ten lengths first to last. On the run to five, Brendan Powell in black and yellow colours on favourite. JPR1 continues to set the gallop chased by Henry Brook on En Public in green and pink colours in second as they jump five. Uh, then John Joe O'Neill Jr., the yellow hoops on green. Petit Tonnerre is two lengths further back and showing in third place. And there'll be about a four or five length gap then to Danny Gilligan on Mighty Tom, the senior runner. He's an eight-year-old who continues to be back marker of the quartet. They run towards number six, which is another playing fence. JPR1 over that. Uh, leading still by a couple of lengths. Petit on air, maybe a little bit slower than rivals jumping in in third place. The seventh is the water. Second position still on public and Mighty Tom continues to be the back marker of the quartet. They clear the water and head on towards the first of two open ditches. There'll be fences eight and ten for the two of the next three jumps. JPR1 continues to have the advantage. Uh, comes towards this open ditch, flies over that. Second position on public, about two, two and a half lengths behind the leader. They come to a plain fence now. Uh, Petit on air, still two or three lengths back in third place. Mighty Tom continues uh, to be the back marker of the quartet. And they got a little bit close to that one. So they're running up now to the top of the hill. Fence number 10, second and final one of the open ditches. JPR1 continues to be about two lengths ahead of On Public in second place. Petit on air about three lengths behind those in third. Mighty Tom still the back marker of the quartet. They all clear that open ditch in good style. It's still every 10, maybe 12 lengths first to last here, but it's onward to home now. And the JPR1 favourite continues to be the leader by a couple of lengths. Second position on public, and then Petit on air in third place. In fact, there's been no change in the order so far on the way round. Mighty Tom is still the back marker. Downhill, they see the third last fence now. Running on towards it, and JPR1 continues to have the lead. Second position for on public, and then Petit on air, and the dark jacket, white cap, and Mighty Tom at the rear of the field. Over the third last, and it continues to be JPR1. Heads towards the home turn now with about a length and a half advantage. On public is in second place. Mighty Tom is beginning to close, has moved into third and is travelling okay. Petit on air is now relegated to be the back marker of the quartet, but now there's only three three lengths between them as they move into the home straight. JPR1 continues to lead. A length and a half. Now make it two over on public in second. Second last. JPR1 got over it well. On public a little untidy in second and JPR1 is quickened away. Four or five lengths away and stumbles at the last of the unseated Brandon Powell. On public has been left in front. Petit on there is in second but closing. On public leading. Petit on there now being galvanised the near side but on public is fending off the challenge on public given the lead up the last wins with Henry Brook Petit on air in second Mighty Tom in third well that was quite dramatic wasn't it JPR won with the race in at his mercy stumbles having overjumped at the last and decamps Brendan Powell and that leaves on public to win for Henry Brook Oliver Greenall and Josh Gayero Petit on air and John Joe and Neil Jr they tried to lay down a challenge from the last but they were able to get there quite and that was a debut second over fences for Petit Tonnerre. And in third was Mighty Tom, who moved into the race threateningly on the home turn for Gary Gilligan and Keen Collins, and then petered out quite quickly. There is Brendan Powell. He is okay. And I'm 
assuming the JPR1 is okay. They were about to follow up that win in our previous race um, and make it a quick fire double for the team, but instead it's on public Dan. Yeah, certainly didn't feel fair because um, he, his jumping was exemplary. Prior to that, I don't think, not like he walked through the fence or anything. It's just one of those unfortunate incidents. It looked like he might open the door for the runner over on public, had enough left. He's a tough horse who has made a career out of winning races and doing it doing it in that sort of fashion but he would have been uh, 